Anthony Dennis writes, hey guys, massive fan here from Newcastle, England. Ooh. With the success of the Lego movie and a few more big budget films due out in the next year or two, like Guardians of the Galaxy and Jurassic Park, you'd think this could be the year of the Pratt where he can be a Hollywood leading man instead of just being that guy from Parks and Rec. Keep up the awesome work. Yeah, it's funny. I, I, this is Chris Pratt's year. Uh, he's still awesome on Parks and Rec. He's the best thing about Parks and Recreation, and I love almost everything about that show, and he's the best part about it. Jurassic Park, he was the best thing of Delivery Man. Uh, he was great in Delivery Man, actually. It's, it's kind of unfortunate because his performance in that gets overlooked a bit because not a lot of people saw the movie, but he was fantastic in it. Obviously, you got the Lego movie. You got Jurassic Park coming out. I remember when him and Anna Faris first hooked up. It was like, wow, Anna Faris is really marrying down because she, <laughs> she wow. was the big wow. star. Wow, <laughs> you went there. She All was right. the big star, and he was kind of a small and old commodity. True story. The first time I ever met Chris Pratt was at, and I'm sure he wouldn't remember this, but was at the junket. What was that '80s uh, movie, uh, Take Me Home Tonight? It was on the at the junket for Take Me Home Tonight, and they held the junket in this house that was in the movie. Uh, up in the hills somewhere. And that's where they did at this house. And I was just taking a break. So I'm walking out of the house at the front door and Chris Pratt walks into the house and we bump into each other. And he goes, oh man, I'm so sorry. Here, here, seriously, man, just punch me. Punch me right in the face. <laughs> and like, that was my first exposure to Chris Pratt. Um, it, it, the, this guy has it all. Yeah. He really does. I don't know how great he would be as a dramatic actor. I just don't know. But he's got so much charm, Zero so much Dark charisma. Zero Dark Thirty, you've already seen Yeah, him. he was he was good. He was a dramatic small role, actor, but he yeah. was good with that role. I just, I love this guy. I really, really love this guy. And this is going to be his year, and I think he's just going to get bigger. So anyway, Dennis, what do you think? I love him on Parks and Rec as well. Is it the year of the Pratt? Yeah, sure. I don't think... It's going to, these two movies are going to completely erase people's memory of him in Parks and Rec, and nor, no, no, and no, nor no. should it, because he's great in it, and it's a funny show. And I think, you know, maybe eventually he'll be a leading man, either in comedy or drama or action, but I think it's going to be more in comedy than, than action, at least that's my, my hunch. Um, but, you know, it takes, it takes a while for like people like, you know, Steve Carell, he was always known for The Office, and then eventually he started, after he stopped doing The Office, he's, he's known for other movies. So, I, I don't know. I think it's more of where you see it, an actor first. What's your first exposure to them? Right. Because like uh, someone like a Melissa McCarthy, I had never watched Mike and Molly before. So to me, yeah. she's <laughs> the girl from uh, Bridesmaids. And, and to Anne, she is one of the girls from, what was that, what was that show, Chris Lee? I don't know why you would know this. The, the, the mother and the daughter. Uh, where they're, and she's the lead girl in uh, Bad Santa. Oh, uh, uh, what's the name of that show? Gilmore Girls. Gilmore. That's right. I was like, to uh... Anne, to Anne, Melissa McCarthy's from Gilmore Girls. So, I... uh, anyway, Shane, what do you think? Can't believe I forgot about Gilmore Girls. I watched that with my <laughs> girlfriend. It's on Netflix yeah, yeah. constantly. Totally watch that. <laughs> Alexis Bedell, whatever happened to her? Um, yeah, it's the year of the Pratt Fall because he's in all these comedies. Yeah, it's a bad pun. Sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think he's gonna really do really well. Not only in action comedies as the lead man, I think he's gonna step up and do this. He's kind of like an action hero that's funny. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's kind of even in Lego, he's played a Lego that's like an action hero. He's the you know what's what was his call? He was called the the one. He was the the special. The special. The special. So, yeah. I think he's doing a great job as being a lead character, a comedic lead role right now. So it's definitely his year, but I think he's going to get teamed up maybe with Nick Offerman. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> so, you know, I think, it, yeah, he's great. So. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.